Yo, yo, what is up, everyone? Welcome to another uh, video. So today's uh, special video, I wanted to answer a subscriber question. And for future, for future reference, anyone that has a question that they want answered in video form, if I feel like I am qualified and can give you some insight on, on your question, I will answer it. Just try to give me as much information as possible. That will definitely help. So uh, this uh, question comes from Sanjoy, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. And his question uh, was, you know, his weight is not decreasing. I think he's hitting a weight loss plateau. He was 82 kilograms, got down to 68 kilograms. So congratulations on the 30 pound plus weight loss. That's, that's very extraordinary. So now that he's 68 kilograms, he wants to get down to 60 kilograms. So he needs to lose another 17 plus pounds to get down to, and for us Americans, we use pounds, about 132 pounds. So it's pretty close to what I weigh. So I don't want to um, make this video too long and just complicate things. So I'm gonna try to keep it succinct and get to the point. So obviously, two factors that you can take into account, your diet and your exercise. Now, the question that he asked, um, I didn't have much information. I, I'm not sure if he works out right now, what kind of diet he's on, so just bear with me. Um, Zanjoy, if you're watching this video, um, if I'm repeating some things, I just this is only the information that I have. If you're doing some of these things that I mentioned, then congratulations, you're already well ahead. So let's start with the uh, start with the exercise um, if you're not exercising and you're losing weight that's great but you definitely need to start exercising I would assume you're doing something but if you aren't consider yourself lucky because if you've gone if you've gotten this far uh, losing weight without even exercising then you then there are a lot of calories left to be burned by exercising so just any type of exercise if you're not exercising running swimming biking elliptical gym i don't know uh, depending on the weather if the weather is nice go outdoors anything uh, join a class weightlifting um, p90x home workouts just get the body moving however there's a good chance that you are doing some type of activity whatever and let's say you're doing jogging slash running what you want to do is you want to try new things because I'll put it this way your body is very smart it adapts and when you first start a workout routine what happens your body gets very sore I don't know if you remember or if you recall anytime you do something new your body will tell you and you get extremely sore it's very painful but that means that it's working. But after time, what tends to happen when you do the same exercise over and over and over, you don't get as sore. And uh, that's not necessarily a bad thing, but it does mean that your body is adapting and you wanna keep it guessing. So try something else. So if you're just running, try some uh, you know, weight training in addition to some cardio, uh, do some high intensity interval training um, put the boxing gloves on and if you have a boxing gym go go hit the bag do some do um, join a uh, do some um, Brazilian jiu-jitsu something fun you want to get the body moving and working different muscles and this is gonna help you not only burn more calories but it won't feel as boring and um, so that's my big big piece of advice regarding the workout uh, make sure you change it up. But in addition to changing up the workout, you want to focus on the intensity slash quality of the workout. Only you know, or anyone else that's watching this video that can relate to this question, only you know how intense you are during your workouts. So you should be tired. You should be sweating. You should be, I wouldn't say drenched, but you should be out of breath. You should be fatigued. Um, the happiness on your face should be after you've showered and after you're done but as soon as you're done with that workout you should be exhausted you should be spent if you're not those are calories that are left on the table that need to be burned because you got to remember you burn calories not only when you work out but outside 
of the gym or uh, after the workout. It's called the afterburn effect. You burn more calories at rest than when you put your body through through hell, so to speak. So just remember that. The more you punish your body during your workouts, you'll burn those extra calories during your workouts, but you'll also burn calories while you're resting because your body is taking time to repair. So, let's, okay, so that's, that's that with the workouts. Change it up, work out harder. Let's move on to the next part, the diet. Uh, once again, with a limited amount of information, I don't know what type of diet you're on. I um, would assume you're in a caloric deficit, obviously, because you're losing weight, but now you've hit a plateau. I always recommend you keeping the, the lean proteins high, the chicken breast, the fish, eggs, ground turkey, turkey breast, cottage cheese, protein powder, getting good healthy fats off of, from uh, avocados, using olive oil, natural peanut butter, keeping, keeping your healthy fats up, and the carbohydrates is where you want to lower them a little bit. Um, so stick to a lot of green vegetables, uh, your asparagus, your broccoli, kale, spinach, just, uh, a lot of various mixed green salads a lot a, a, a lot of roughage that's what you want because that's going to um, keep your insulin level levels down and if you're insulin and if you're insulin sensitive you get these huge spikes and when you have these huge spikes you your body will store fat a little bit more and it'll be harder so that's um that's pretty much it hopefully that answers your question if by chance you're already doing all the things that i mentioned then maybe just send me a private message and maybe we can get this fine-tuned but just with the limited amount of information hopefully that helps um i know it's easy easy to get discouraged but stick with it and you, you can break through because it, it has happened to me and i'm pretty sure i'm leaner than you um no hate, I'm just saying. And if I could break through, then you could probably break through. The last thing I want to say to to you and or anyone watching this video, you mentioned that you want you want to get down to 60 kilograms, which is 132 pounds. I'm just curious, why 60 kilograms? Is that just a, a round number that you want? And the reason why I ask is 132 pounds is very light. I'm five five and a half. If you're taller than me and you're trying to be 132 pounds, that is something you might want to consider because your body mass index, your BMI, it shouldn't be under 18.5. So if you type in body mass, BMI, body mass index calculator, put in your weight and height and your numbers, and it spits out, if it's under like 18 and a half, you could be setting an un unrealistic goal. So yes, it's good to have a certain goal in mind, but don't get too fixated on the 60 kilograms you might you might be you might look phenomenal at 64 kilograms you don't know that you know only only you know that use the mirror to gauge check your measurements if you feel good you feel good assuming you don't have like body dysmorphia yes you want to get to 60 kilograms but don't kill yourself and say i have to get to 60 because you may f look great like i said you might be fine at 65 kilograms and if you are, then you can just cruise and maintain. So um, that's my piece of advice to you and to anyone else. Don't get too fixated on on a direct number. It's kind of like a person who says, I want to, like a female saying, I want to weigh 110 pounds because that's what I weighed in high school. Well, women, just like men, we mature. Our bodies fill up. Uh, women, due to wanting to, or excuse me, not wanting to, uh, due to women naturally having the curve of childbearing hips to to have children, you're naturally going to be a little bit, your frame's going to be bigger, your body's going to mature. Same thing with men. So it's like me, I wrestled 100 and, 103 pounds in my senior year of high school. Now I, I cut about 15 pounds of water weight, but I was naturally walking around like 120 pounds. I can't sustain that anymore. There's, I mean, if I cut really hard, I could, but... Um, it's just not realistic for me to say, oh, well, I wrestled 112 my senior year at the beginning of the year, so I want to be 112. No, 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 no. That's just not happening. That's unhealthy. 
So I don't want to make this too much about me. This video is getting too long. So hopefully that uh, video helps. Uh, comments, questions, always welcome. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.